Hello, today's January 9th of 2021. I want to give you guys an update and some pretty um, important information. Now, um, I want you to pray over this stuff as always and ignore everything that you hear in the background. My son likes being noisy and I don't know why. So, um, I am first going to tell you that t today is my parents' 50th year anniversary. And we know that the 50 stands for the year of rest. Um, because it is in the, um, um, at the end, um, of the 50 years for the Jubilee, um, it's when they come to rest and, you know, all the judgment and stuff. So, um, all right. So tonight, all right, there's a rare three planet conjunction of Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn to illuminate um, the sky. Thanks to Melissa, she gave me this, and then I found out other information. So this is something I'm going to speak of. Um, last month, Jupiter and Saturn treated sky watchers to a spectacular once-in-a-lifetime great conjunction when they were closer in the night sky than they had been since medieval times. Okay, um, now the planets will continue to drift apart. They will be joined by a third, Mercury, forming a rare three-planet alignment or conjunction. A triple conjunction is traditionally defined as two planets meeting each other three times in a short time frame. But NASA has also used the term to refer to three planets meeting. Okay, um, so I'm going to collaborate on this. Okay, so on here... Okay, we have, I'm going to tell you the meaning of these and why these are important. It's visible tonight. All right, we have Saturn, which means morning star. You know, Saturn and Venus, they're the ones mentioned in the Bible. It means morning star, sun at dawn, Lucifer, and it's also the sixth planet. We have Mercury, which is closest to the sun. Okay, it means going or walking. Now, we have Jupiter. That means law, order, justice, and righteousness. The two-planet alignment that which we have had has um, talked about um, bringing in the um, Antichrist. Okay, so now there's a third. Now, hear me out. So we have uh, Mercury, which is the closest to the sun. The sun, of course, represents Christ or whatever. Um, Mercury representing... Uh, the, the woman of Revelation 12, you've got the woman, the baby, the male child who gets caught up to heaven. You got Satan standing in front. Okay. Now Trump was mentioning law and order and he was bringing in justice and righteousness, um, in his speech that, you know, during this whole, uh, um, attack, um, democratic attack and no it wasn't the republicans well some of it was but um enough is enough so my whole point to this is now that they are aligned in revelation 12 it talks about when the baby is born satan tries to go after it but she flees into the wilderness okay so they're all lined up getting ready to flee okay we got law and order what comes out of chaos comes peace, right? So therefore, when they say that the Antichrist gets his seven-year rule, that's kind of not correct. It can't be because he gets 42 months to rule. So bringing in the Antichrist, okay? This, what this now represents, okay? The Antichrist is not only getting ready to come on the scene, but we are now in new world order. Hey, why do you say that? Well, let me read a couple things to you. Um, on 8, 8, August 8th of 2020, um, these were, um, I printed these off. These were not only from my Bible study, but these were, um, from the Jerusalem post. Okay. Uh, updates is nothing you do is private. Your phone knows everything. That's why ads pop up when you speak. Which is all has and has been coming from China. It's all a spying, tracking, tracing mechanism. Also, the census is going to track everyone into where they are located. Okay, so, and that was also the same way, you know, with Mary and Joseph and King Herod who won, 
blah, 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 blah. Okay. So the whole point to this was, okay, Rabbi Azer declares new world order will begin January 2021 with the Antichrist shortly after. All right. Now, before I go into this, I am therefore going to read you this little bit that's going on right now. Um, they plan on occupying the White House on January 20th. It's called the Million Militia March, and that's the inauguration. Trump's done said, oh, I'm not going to go to the inauguration. They've banned him uh, from Twitter and all that, which I've already seen him from Facebook indefinitely for the rest of his term. Many still say that he is going to um, continue. Well, you got to understand if he gets another term, who he is. Um, but with Biden being in, okay, Trump representing with Mike, who backstabbed him, it is the last trumpets, like trumpets, okay, um, so we've got the New World Order, and we've got all of this being pre-planned, because, you know, the, the army, the White House is completely, uh, secure. No one in history has been able to break in like that. This was a walk in the park, okay? Um, if Trump does not declare martial law by then, you know, then we already know we're going into communism, which communism has already been a big thing and to New World Order because um, that's where we are headed. And he's selling us out to the Chinese. Now, why am I mentioning so much about the Chinese? Well, because the Chinese have a ton to do with what is going on now. Okay, and now a million militia march is be, being planned by the armed insurrectionists for January 19th in Washington, D.C. We will come in numbers that no standing army or policy agency can match. Whew, that's, that's pretty scary. And then it says, Chinese president, okay, Xi Jinping has offered to send 250,000 peacekeepers to Washington, D.C. to ensure a peaceful transition transact transitions to the Biden presidency amid U.S. Capitol building riots. Okay, they're trying to impeach Trump and get him, and they already said, they already blamed him for the killing and the trampling of the woman. Okay, um, all right, all of this is to bring in the new world order and the antichrist because order comes from chaos. Okay. So we're already been in the peace part of this. Okay. Um, and, uh, trying to figure out the best way to explain this to you guys so that you guys can completely understand. Um, um, Trump, um, a lot of people have been saying that he was the wall holding back this evil and that they feel now that the wall is down, um, they're all going out and they're starting to ban pro-life videos on YouTube that speak against abortion. They're banning, um, LGBTQ testimonies written in the books. They're being, uh, that's been sold on Amazon. It's, uh, conservatives and it's also, uh, them uh, they've taken Lisa Boyce down. They've monitored me quite a bit. Um, my husband, my children, um, we have been targeted. I'm pretty sure my channel will be targeted. Um, I am leaving Facebook. I won't be on there. Um, and they're getting, they're going to shut down all social medias. It is to quiet the people to shut us up, which is all part of the new world order to be under their control. Everything censored, which is bringing in communism. Now the Chinese, okay, have offered Three times the amount in Oklahoma and Texas been going around buying people's farms out so that they can make camps there. Okay. And these camp bases, what they're going to do since they're trying to disarm the American people, they're going to come out of the woodwork and be able to control. Okay. They're going to be in their hiding spot until then. These are the camps and the uh military bases so they're strong in number so what they're going to try and do is eliminate from the inside out so no one's going to be coming in and no one's going to be going out it's a trap you see what i'm saying it's all part of new world order to follow their agenda but in order for peace to come in there's got to be chaos and here's the chaos part all right so now going on how I've said a million times before in February, what's going to happen is it's going to be 
with the visible naked eye stating that um, Nibiru's coming in. Well, there's reason I'm going to read you um, this, but prior to um, Israel, 365 News has said this, the one world government and necessary evil for Messiah to prevail, mystical rabbi complains, or er, um, proclaims, behold, I'm sending my messengers to clear the way before me and the Lord whom you speak, ugh, whom you seek shall come to his temple suddenly. As for the angel of the covenant that you desire, he is already coming. Malachi 3, 1. Okay. We are witnessing God's final battle against, um, evil. Um, and you can clearly see that the force of evil and darkness is trying to annihilate the force of good where good is evil and evil is good. Um, the reality is that we are facing the annihilation any way that you look at it, which is completely true. Um, and the old, real, old reality into becoming um, a new beginning, the old reality has to be completely destroyed. Um, so that's how they're going to get everything and at the end of the day it's all orchestrated um by god this is um the master of the universe who has been preparing this okay and he emphasized you know that worrying is a waste of time since this is all part of god's final battle against evil and we're just asking that the destruction to be not so big um turning the attention to the plan for a one world government is a plot against those who side evil um how can uh, the Messiah control if there's going to be a government, which is absolutely true. So in order for the Antichrist to rule, he's going to rule the whole world. And if there's presidents and leaders and stuff, then that's not the Antichrist right now. You see what I mean? The Antichrist is going to come during the time where there's no leadership. Okay. And right now, Israel has no leadership. Perfect timing. Now, they've all been talking about, okay, this planet being visible in February, okay, and hitting around March time. Now, um, on this, it says the moon enters the shadow in space. It will also be a micro moon, the opposite to the super moon. It's called an evening star planet, okay? It's immediately after the sunset from April to December of this year, okay? It's going to be in the western sky. Venus, okay, which we know is the Antichrist, spent the first half of 2020 super bright in the evening sky and currently been seen dominating the pre-sunrise night sky as a morning star, which means we have been seeing the rising of the Antichrist. Come April 2021, it will emerge once again into the post-sunset sky as an evening star. Doesn't it say that he he is the morning and the evening star? Hmm. So, anyways, by May, um, they said that it will be very, very bright and it will inch towards Mars. Okay, and then we have um, Mars. And it is... Hmm. Okay, a red planet in the Seven Sisters. Okay, uh, two hours after sunset on Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. Okay, in... Um, the Mars will drop by the Seven Sister Stars, an open cluster of hot young blue stars known as the Pleiades and M45. The red planet will appear close to this luminous tangle of stars for a few nights. Okay, so we have a bunch of um, alignments. And I was talking to Melissa today and trying to get, you know, her understanding because she wanted to know. Because I've had dreams of this. People have been seeing... A couple moons. Well, I've dreamt of a two-planet alignment, three-planet alignment, five-planet, and seven. Okay? Well, there has been um, moons. Well, I'm just going to quickly breeze over this. Um, on March 31st of 2016, um, I dreamt that I was looking at it at a huge window, like a second or third story building. The building was all right. It was like a palace or something. I saw the clouds roll back. The sunlight came through. I took a picture. I saw on the left a small sun, which was white. On the right, a faint red planet. And then a sun in the cloud and another sun in the middle. And I'm not sure if it was a queen and a husband or a king, but 
um, we were in a government building working for them. So I showed my husband this picture. He said, we need to go prepare. So I was watching the sky and it was turning dark and three sun-like planets kept moving, but the red planet stayed kind of dim. Okay. So we, we see like Mars, uh, the, um, known as the dusty red planet. We know uh, March represents Mars, okay? And um, I've done a major study about this, how it's the barley harvest. It's the end of um, the Jewish New Year. Um, it's, this all goes into being around the 12th month. Um, there's a lot of prophecy unfolding with this. And with it staying there in, from February into March, it's 40 day period and it leaving. See, and it's going to reappear again brightest, um, like it said in May. So, um, what I seen was the planetary alignment, not uh, many, many moons. And I believe what we are seeing behind the moon, because I've seen a lot, is um, that planet coming in. Because it's going to be completely visible and then we have the alignments. I've also dreamt of it around the Olympic time in a stadium and Leo the Lion. And then we have the balancing scales. Um, there's just so, so much prophecy um, being fulfilled right now. Now, uh, also around this time, because all this is tied together... China seizes children from Christian parents, threatens to send kids to re-education camps. Okay, and in the latest draconian crackdowns on uh, Christianity. Um, whoops, sorry, I read the wrong thing. But anyways, that goes with China. Now, uh, Rabbi, this was um, on the 19th um, of August of last year. Rabbi inspects red heifer in secret location in Israel for the use in the third temple. The ashes of the pure red heifer will be needed to purify the third Jewish temple. Rabbi, um, Azriel, Ariel traveled to an undisclosed ranch in Israel to lead the Temple Institute's effort to raise a red heifer for the performance of the commandment of producing the purifying ashes of the red heifer. And the red heifer is now two years old, which is ready to be slaughtered. So now there's talks of the third temple being built in early 2021. The sacrifice then would take place. The building is ready. All they need is the green light to get it done and it will be around eradicated within 90 days we are here folks we have signs in the sun the moon the stars okay um we have the presidents the the communism the new world order everything is set into place the antichrist is about to rise onto scene and we are getting ready to get out of here so my next video, I'm going to be giving you other information. Um, so pray over this as always and God bless.